this way I was going back just one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favor and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Uh, just it's just a blessing to be able to know that when you're on your journey, you're, you're t being so courageous on being able to do it, even though when you don't know where your path is taking you. So you keep doing you and you'll find a way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Uh, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're knowing me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video or you're just up talking about your impact to give and if you feel like the video is being very informative to you and even gives you good vibes please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up and like it also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support it's so gratefully appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today um my meditation music i'm listening to is called cosmic collector uh multi-dimension connection conscious expansion binary beats and i will post that link in the description box below and my video is about twin flame 101 heyoka is finally seeing the light after being in the dark headspace for so long you know that is the most saddest thing that you can go through stuff but a lot of times like i say it's like a daily process you have to be able to you know go through certain things just to be able to get to it you know um being able to experience the sadness to be able to appreciate the goodness that comes along in life. You know, there's a lot of times we got to go through things just to be able to see it through a fresh pair of eyes. It's just because you've been in third, the 3D life for so long and then you had to poof, go through Kundalini, you had to go through Dark Night of the Soul, had to go through, uh, you know, uh, spiritual awakenings and all these different things, the stages of tragedy. <laughs> on top of the things that you have already you know you're already dealing with as well um it, it takes a lot you know it it took me a long time i mean if you've been with me for a while y'all seen me all my days even when i'm trying to push through and be positive and feel like my heart's breaking all at the same time you know because i knew i had a mission i had a duty i had to do you know i i, I would constantly tell the universe i'm tired i'm so mentally and emotionally drained but i'm trying to push on i'm trying to see the beauty out of everything even though i really can't see it but you know I, hopefully one day i will and i had to really like step out the box you know step out my own little personal matrix and see what my life was trying to show me because it was just like i was seeing it but i wasn't feeling it you know, I thought I was, but, you know, it, it was a lot of things that was really deep-rooted that I wasn't aware of. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm, I keep it real with y'all. There's times I thought I was good, you know, but then there was days, like, I had to take a break, you know, when I was reflecting, doing self-care. There would be days I would cry my eyes out, trying to figure out why did this have to happen to me. You know, I, I, you know, I just felt, you know, I would see people with their families and, it would break my heart because I would have loved to been able to experience that. I really didn't get a chance to, you know, not everybody is blessed with a good household, you know, having family, you know, it was just like mine is all, all my supporting ones is like passed away. And, you know, my main one is like connection in, in, in my third eye. So it was just like something in the physical I didn't have, you know, I had to get my family from here. You know, I have my children and, you know, that's pretty much it. But they're grown. So, you know, they got their own lives. But it was just going through that was really a hard process for me. And being in that dark head space, y'all know what that feels like. You know, you're still feeling, you know, kind of, you know, like a thorn in your side when people have really did you the wrong way. You know, and it is just like it's not meant for you to carry around that hurt for so long. You know, it can make you bitter. It can make you not want to be around people. You know, it, it, you know, it's just like me. I'm, I'm like, I have social anxiety at times. You know, I'm very introverted. You know, I'm okay with being by myself. I'm okay with just communicating with people just from YouTube. <laughs> you know, I was fine about that. My daughter was like, Mom, you have no friends to come by. I said, I'm good with that. I'm fine. You know, it, it was just like a lot of people didn't get me. You know, there was a lot of people that I hung out with is still in that 3D matrix. I can't deal with that. You know, doing the 3D thing, smoking, drinking, that's not my life. That's not my life anymore. So I'm good. You know, I feel like anybody that's on my level would gravitate towards me and I don't have to sit up here and be feeling like I'm walking on eggshells around people. 
So, you know, being able to finally see the light, you know, see, envision your silver lining coming across, you know, knowing that, you know, even though you're not where you want to be right now, you know, it's coming, you know, the only person can stop you and get in that way is you, you know, a lot of times, you know, even though people contribute to the things of stopping things in my life, but there was, you know, I played my part within that too. You know, if I would have kept my mouth shut, it would have never known. You know, I felt like I can trust the people that I've been into. And a lot of people didn't understand my life. You know, they, when they saw my dad, all they saw was dollar signs. They wasn't the fact is he's still human. You know, my dad was, regardless of who my dad was to anybody, that was still my daddy. You know, and nobody didn't understand that. So it was like a heartbreaking situation that a lot of people couldn't relate to. You know, you can relate to losing your parent and all that. And it's really hard, you know, when you lose a loved one, that's really hard. And I'm not trying to say that's anything special, but it's like, it's, it's already an issue when you're not getting closure. You really don't know who did this. Why did they do that? You know, why are people not saying anything? You know, I don't hear anything about anything covering my dad's, you know, disappearance, not disappearance, but you know, the, the murder or anything who is at fault. You know, it's more about what, what, who's going to get the estate or anything. You don't even really hear about that as well. But it's just so many different things I had to go through and just trust in the universe that everything is going to be okay. You know, not to, not to sit up here and worry. You know, things happen the way they happen. You know, like, but like I said, when you lose a loved one, that's already hard. But when you're trying to heal from it and constantly seeing pictures of them all over the place, if it ain't the pictures, it's the music. You know, if it ain't the music, it's the links, you know, crazy things that people, you know, try to say about folks. You know, I always used to voice my opinion when it even came with Michael Jackson or anything. You know, um, let people rest in peace. Let them be able to be in their dignity. You know, it might not have been a pretty sight on how they left here, but they shouldn't have to still pay for it after they pass. You know, it was the worst situation to, you know, see people trying to accuse Michael. I said, Michael's been dead since, like, what, 2009, 2008, and y'all <laughs> start to bring up stuff now when he's nowhere trying to trying to defend himself, you know? And, like, with my dad, people posting up, you know, dead death elevator pics of him. I'm like, can, can y'all leave that alone? You know, they do have, he does have family. You know, being able to see that broke my heart. You know, that was the putting a hump in the camel's back just broke it, <laughs> you know, going through that. And I had to still live through that. You know, um, it took a lot for me to have to really go through things and, you know, not have all the answers. Just trying to just seek comfort in myself to say when it's time for me to know, I'll know. You know, things happen behind the scenes that you don't you don't really aware. You're not really aware of, but you still have a journey you have to go of. You still have to live, you know just because they were denied life, you know, my dad won't want me to sit up here and, you know, over obsess about things that I really don't have the answers to, you know, going through all those different things has really taught me a lot. You know, I had to heal fast, you know, I, I, I had to get peace in my heart um, and being able to know that I wasn't meant to be sitting up here being miserable, no matter what people thought or who felt like I should suffer or whatever that, that, it has no, you know, it's none of my business what other people think about me. It's how I validate myself, how I think about myself, loving people as I love myself. You know, those are the things that are important to me. But when you're going through different situations, and a lot of times you don't know the reason why you've gone through the things you've gone through, at the end of the day, when everything is, you know, making perfect sense to you, you'll see why you had to go through those things. You know, um, a lot of times people, you know, I, I see things that happen in occurrences where people lose their children over, you know, cancer and stuff like that. But then your death is your your child's death has brought so many people. The, your situation has brought so many people that that attention to you to where they're wanting to put money down for trying to find a cure for this and you know wanting to start a foundation for this and it's just like sometimes sad situations bring up awareness to where it makes people it's that shock value that allow people to say like look life is too short <laughs> you better enjoy where it is and, you know if you can try to help somebody you know try to find a cure for something do that you know a lot of things a tragedy ends up becoming a blessing for somebody else because that person was denied life is going to help someone else as well so it's just like when you're going through things 
Um, hold on, pause for the call, y'all. My bad, y'all, the people left from fixing my air conditioning because it was hotter than fish grease up in here. But yes, we go through things a lot of times we don't have the answer for and it can really take us to that dark space and you just trying to wreck your brain, brain like, why did you have to go go through these things? Why did people have to do these things to me? You know, there's a lot of things that you, you're asking the questions for that will gradually come to you. It's just all how you look at it. You know, things happen for a reason. It usually, it can either make you or break you. It's just your choice on what decision you choose to make. With me, allow it to make me, reform me, have me evolve in so many beautiful things where I know my tragedy can bring out somebody else's blessing. You know, being able to help other people that are struggling to go through things as well, being able to know I'm not alone. You know, I'm not the only one going through things. It's good to know that there's other people that have the similar similar you know daily struggles as I do that brings you a lot of peace of mind to know that and being able to do this that that is you know I can actually look at it as a beautiful thing so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video I love y'all so much um, I'm gonna give me a post notification shout out let me see who I'm gonna shout out to oh goodness um Daniela Danny and PFP, much love to you. And I will see you on my next video. So now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And no one there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. Now I hope you have a blessed remainder of your week. I think this is going to be my last video for today. And I have more coming tomorrow if nothing else occurs. If the universe seeks me to speak knowledge, I will go ahead and speak knowledge. So I will see y'all later. Much love to you. Peace. Be well.